in the last lecture we have studied about equivalence of two finite automata. We have studied how to find out whether two given automata are equivalent or not. So in this lecture we will be seeing one more example in which we will be trying to find out whether the two given automata are equivalent or not. So if you have not watched the previous video, I suggest that you watch it first where I have explained the steps that you have to follow for this procedure in detail. Okay, so here we have two automata given. Let me call them A and let me call this B. And our task is to find out whether these two automata are equivalent or not. So if you see here in automaton A, Q1 is the initial state as well as the final state. And also in automaton B, Q4 is the initial state as well as the final state. So this satisfies one of our condition. So one of the condition for equivalence was that if in one of the automaton the initial state and final state is the same, then even in the other automaton the initial state and final state must be same for them to be equivalent. So this condition is satisfied in this example. Okay, and then the other condition was that for every pairs of states, the pairs of state that is generated on particular input should be either both final states or both intermediate states. Then they will be equivalent. So let us check that condition. So for that let me make a table over here. So here I'll have the pairs of state. So this will be for my states. And if you see in this automata the inputs are C and D. C and D are the input symbols that we have C and D. Okay, now let's take the pairs of states. So here the initial states are Q1, Q4. So let us make a pair of state Q1, Q4. So this is a pair of state and let us see where does this state pair go on getting inputs C and D. So Q1 on input C it goes to Q1 itself, Q1 itself and Q4 on input C goes to Q4 itself, Q4. So this is the pair of states that we get and if you notice Q1 and Q4 are both final states. So let me write final state, this is also final state. So if you find that the pairs that we obtain are both final states then they are equivalent. So so far we are finding that these automatas are equivalent. Okay, so let's see what happens on getting input D. Q1 on getting input D, it goes to Q2. Goes to Q2 and Q4 on getting input D goes to Q5. So let us check if these states are final states or intermediate states. Q2 is an intermediate state. Q5 is also an intermediate state. That means a non-final state. So here also the pairs of state that we get are both the same kind of states. That means they are both intermediate states. So this condition also supports the fact that they are equivalent. So, so far we are finding that they are equivalent. Now let us take the next pair of states which will be Q2 and Q5. Q2, Q5. And let's see where do they go on getting input C and D. Q2 on input C goes to Q3. And Q5 on input C goes to Q7. And what kind of states are these states? Q3, it is an intermediate state or a non-final state. And Q7 is also an intermediate state. Okay. Now, let's see where do they go on getting input D. Q2 on input D goes to Q1. Q1 and Q5 on input D goes to Q6. Q6. And let us check what kind of pairs are these. We see that Q1 is a final state. It is a final state. Whereas Q6 is a intermediate state. Okay, so in this pair we are getting one state to be a final state and the other to be an intermediate state. So whenever you get this kind of condition where one is a final state and the other is an intermediate state, this condition proves and shows that the two 
given automata cannot be equivalent. So this condition shows that automaton A and automaton B are not equivalent. Now there are more pairs of states that we can check for but you don't have to check because from this condition it shows that they are not equivalent and you can just be sure and write that A and B are not equivalent. So whenever you get this kind of conditions you can be sure that the two given automata are not equivalent. So this is an example of two automata which are not equivalent and we found them out using this procedure. So I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.